Hey, community group leaders, this is Chris Standridge bringing to you another training tutorial video. Hey, we've got a cool new feature that we just unveiled with our Crossroads app that I wanted to let you all know about. This video will target specifically those of you who are leading um, deeper studies. Um, so if you're a leader and you are currently leading a deeper study or in the future plan to lead one with your group, this video will affect you. We have um, been working kind of behind the scenes on our Crossroads app to streamline some of our technology in order to make your ministries a little bit easier to your people. That way, when you are um, pulling up the um, deeper study questions from the Crossroads app, it also pulls up Pastor Dave's deeper study video podcast. And so I want to walk through briefly how to um, enable this feature on your smartphone or your smart device, um, because I think it's going to help you guys and I think it's going to serve you in a good way if you have a little bit of uh, technology savviness, if you will. Um, and I know sometimes that intimidates people, but I'm telling you here, I'm here to tell you that if I can figure this out, you can figure this out. So if you have a smartphone or if you have an iPad or some sort of tablet and you also have either a smart TV or a TV that has uh, an Apple TV or a Roku player, you should be able to make this feature work and streamline um, some of uh, your technology and deeper study questions all at the same time. So I'm going to click on the Crossroads app, and that's what you're going to want to do on your phone. Hopefully you have downloaded this from the Apple Store or the App Store um, on either Apple or Google. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And usually just uh, every day the uh, Crossroads app refreshes. And so down there at the bottom, if you haven't opened this app in a couple of days, you're probably going to want to hit um, the refresh button so that we can pull up the latest content on your app. Once you are in the app, you're going to want to click on media down there on the bottom toward the left. And then we will go to the deeper study link. And there you will see all of the different deeper studies that Pastor Dave has recently recorded. And the good news is that from here on out, we're going to be categorizing them based on sermon series. And so right now I'm going to click on the deeper uh, the, or the dream killer sermon series. And um, so I don't know how many of you know this or not, but Pastor Dave, when he preaches a sermon uh, on Tuesday afternoons after the Sunday and Saturday night sermons, he films a deeper study podcast where he kind of recaps uh, his sermon from the weekend uh, into maybe a 15 or 20 minute video. And so you might be leading your group through a, a deeper study and you might have folks that couldn't make the weekend service, hadn't had a chance to catch up on it. Um either, you know, on Facebook Live or on our online campus or on YouTube. Um, and so they may feel like, man, if I come to our group meeting, we're going to be talking about the weekend's uh, sermon and I didn't get a chance to view it. This is a great opportunity for them to be able to do that and for you to be able to show it during uh, the introduction of your group study. Um, so that way it brings everybody up to speed, whether they were at church um, that weekend or not. And for those that were at church, it would be a great opportunity. Um, say your group meets on like a Thursday night or a Friday night. It'd be a great opportunity for them to um, watch this video with the whole group together and be reminded of what Pastor Dave or that weekend speaker preached on. Um, and so what you're going to do is you're going to click on that um, the link to that weekend's uh, deeper study questions. And as you scroll down through here, if you've never seen this before, you've got an opening there that has kind of an opening crowd breaker question just to get your people talking right there. And then it's got some scripture passages it says to read in this instance, Genesis chapter 37 and 50 and 1 Timothy 2.22 and Matthew 6.33. And then it's got some discussion questions. And so these discussion questions should be aligned with what you see in the program in print um, during the weekend services that you might get as you come into the auditorium. And so this app is super user friendly. If you don't have the program from the weekend, you can always use this to get the, the deeper study questions. And I would highly recommend using this. It uh, looks like this week has five different questions that are well thought out. 
um, and in-depth and should really spur good conversation with your group. And then at the end, it has a recommended um, uh, focus for your prayer and even some meditation ideas and scripture memorization. So th this is very thorough and it's very well thought out. But the, the beauty of this um, uh, this app that we have and the Dream Killer specifically, the I should say the deeper study link that we now have is that if you look right there below the the title, um, you'll see YouTube video a link, and this is this is what we've recently added that we wanted to let you know about. If you click on that, it will want to send you over to YouTube where you can access Pastor Dave's deeper study video podcast, and that's what you can show. So it puts all of uh, all of the content on this one page, and it allows you to click on the YouTube link, which I'm going to do. And um, welcome to the Deeper Podcast, a ministry of Crossroads Church, a, little bit. a multi-site church in Mansfield, um, Ohio. So this there you have it. I'm going to help you go the, deeper the in God's Word so and grow deeper in that. life but application. Once you click on that, now join up our at the host, top right, Pastor you're going to see an arrow that kind of Dave points Davis. right next to that. You'll see a almost like a, a Wi-Fi hey broadcast in a square. To we're going to click on that, of the podcast. and so I'm going to try to send us. this video and, uh, to excited, my smart uh, kind of going through this personally, TV or, or AirPlay device. So if I have a smart uh, TV or if I have you. Apple TV or a Roku player, it should recognize, my phone should recognize it, assuming that those are connected to the Internet. And so once I've done that, I'm going to click on AirPlay and Bluetooth devices for me specifically. I am an iPhone, so mine might look a little Genesis bit different than yours, um, but this is what it pulls up, and right now it's playing on my iPhone and playing speakers through my iPhone as well, and I'm going to scroll down through here, and you're going to see because I'm at the church, there are a lot of Apple TVs for me to um, send or broadcast my phone screen to, but I'm going to scroll down, and because I'm in my office and I have an AirPlay, or I should say an Apple TV device, um, it is uh, listed as Chris. So I am going to click on that. And what it's going to do is it's going to send whatever is on my screen. It's going to send it up to um, my TV, um, which is really what we want to help you do when you are sending that deeper podcast video to your smart T or um, AirPlay device. And so uh, at this point, I can't show you on this video what is playing up on on my TV, but I can promise you that it is playing or broadcasting to the TV in my office. And so I wanted to let you all know about that feature because I think it's something that's going to uh, just streamline things a little bit, help you to be a little bit more efficient. And I hope it serves you well. And um, so use this feature, um, test it out a little bit on your on, on your free time. I think what you will find is it is extremely beneficial and it makes your ministry a little bit easier to your folks and allows you to keep everything kind of uh, one stop shop, if you will, keep everything in one place. And so hopefully this benefits you and your leadership and it uh, certainly it benefits your people so you can spend more time focusing on them and their needs and facilitating good questions and conversations. And so um, if you have any feedback to give me or if you have any further questions, I'd love to hear it. Um, I'd love to help you out in any way that I can. You can always email me at chris.standridge at crossroadswired.com. We'll see you next time.